Well, hi Capricorns! Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It's time for February's reading. I'm going to start the reading with a universe card. Let's find out what the universe has for you, what advice, before we move forward. And one more shuffle here. I'm going to pull you out a universe card, unless one flips out. Nope. For Capricorns. What do we have for you for February? Mm, down there. It's card number 10. And it says, There is nothing I cannot be, do, or have. Hmm, let's read it. Find out what it says. Welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing you cannot be, do, or have. Go forth on this day in your life experience knowing that your real work is to decide what you want and then focus upon that. Go forth giving thought to what you want, attracting life experiences to help you decide what you want. And once you have decided, giving thought only to that. It's called the Law of Attraction and Attracting What You Want in Your Life. Good advice. Good advice. And it does help. Okay. So let's get a reading started. I have shuffled these cards very well. I'm going to shuffle them just a few more times here for our Capricorns. These are, this is the Arcanum deck. Just beautiful illustrations. I needed to change this year, so this is what we're going to use for Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns. Let me cut these. I just feel like cutting them. And we're going to do it. Okay, Capricorns, let's get started. Let's find out what's coming into your life, what's going out of your life, and any advice from the universe. For February, please. For Capricorns. What's coming in? What's leaving? Any advice? For Capricorns and moving forward through the month of February. Let's see what we have here. I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. This is a general reading, so it won't resonate with everybody. You can take the parts of it that does resonate, or you can get a private reading from somebody that you trust. And by the way, I do private readings, and if you just click the description box below this video, uh, send me an email and we can get started. So here we go. Wow, the overall energy of your reading is the High Priestess. Wow, very intuitive. Follow your intuition with the High Priestess here. This is advice. This is something you'll be doing. And also, it could be about um, something being revealed here, too, that um, someone's, you know, going to reveal something they haven't expressed might come through. Let, let me keep reading. Up here in your highest energy is the Emperor. The Emperor is the card for Aries, so Aries might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. All the cards are male or female. But the emperor here, um, once they make up their mind, their mind is made up. I mean, they're, it's stubborn like in a good way. This is in your highest energy. So it feels like you have made some decisions in your life. And you're not going to back down. You're not going to um, settle for anything less than what you want from your life. You, um, you're very well liked and respected by others. And you might even be a leader in your profession. These are the two strongest energies in your entire reading, so this is what we're talking about. 
So I feel like you are following your intuition. And, you know, there still might be some enlightenment from somebody coming through here. I have the Eight of Cups next to the Emperor and right above the High Priestess. So the Eight of Cups is turning your back on love. It's walking away. Um, it's always by necessity, like self-preservation. Um, but there's a moon there in this card, in this deck. So you're walking toward the Enlightenment. It's like something is dawning on you. And you're moving away from one situation here that you do have feelings for. But you, you, for one reason or another, and I'm sure it's going to come out in the reading, you're heading towards the moon. So it's like a moth to a flame, and you're making changes in your life. I have the Three of Swords here. These changes are coming from heartache, heartbreak. Three of Swords, you know, that's pain. That's, uh, you know, sadness. So you were in this place of pain and sadness. Um, I think you were in love with someone, some, it did not work out, and it probably came from some sort of enlightenment. Maybe they even told you something that you didn't know, uh, and you decided, well, okay, I got to get strong here. Um, I got to decide what it is that I want and take that path, and that's exactly what you're doing here, Capricorns. I have the Fool card right under the Emperor, and the Fool is right next to the overall energy of the High Priestess. So this is like living in the moment, throwing caution to the wind. You know, it, it's just, it's fun, carefree, uh, dancing along with your head in the clouds. But eventually, you always come to the edge of the cliff. And this is when it's time to pull your head out of the clouds. And you start to look forward rather than just living in the moment. Well, I, that must have happened. Uh, one of the two of you started to look forward and um it's probably you and started to look forward but were enlightened about this relationship that you did have love for um i have the page of cups next to the high priestess and under the three of swords i don't think they had a full cup of love for you i think that might have come out in conversation uh, this is a very young energy card and as you notice they hold that cup close there's a fish if you look really close, there is a fish poking its head out of that cup. So that it's only half full. Uh, this can be the card for Pisces. Pisces might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But I feel like what you were enlightened about was the love. And whether it was from them or you just figured it out or someone else told you. Um, and so you made changes. You're making changes in your life. And it starts in February here. Uh, it may have started already. I have the Two of Pentacles right under the Fool. So yeah, you went back and forth on, hey, because you had feelings for, for this person. And you're like back and forth on, you know, can you keep living in the energy of the Fool or do you have to move forward? Well, once you start that, that pulling, you know, once you get that urge to move forward, it's really hard to fight. So you may have tr been staying in this relationship but you can't keep getting pulled in another direction. So highs and lows, hopes and non-hopes, you know. And um, so that's what the Two of Pentacles is about. Security, stability, and whether or not this relationship can uh, have a future. So I, I got the Ten of Pentacles next to the Two of Pentacles and under the High Priestess. You know this is what you want. Uh, you're very much aware of it. And in order to get it, I think that you figured that you're going to have to leave this relationship. I think you do have, you know, look at all those cups, eight cups that you're walking away from. You had a lot of love for this person, but they just weren't ready or unable to hand a full cup of love out and really take that leap um, of commitment and move forward in this relationship. And they somehow made it clear. Somehow it came became clear to you. I have the Six of Cups next to the Ten of Pentacles and right under the Page of Cups. Yes, they're a soulmate. Um, this, they may have come in uh, from your life, from another, um, from a past experience with them, from like being children or even college years. You may have re reconnected. Uh, you were soulmates, young energy. Um, I just 
don't think their energy ever really matured to the point like you're the emperor and um, I think they're still living in the six of cups like in the past and um, so this ten of pentacles which is so important for you to have your future uh, sits next to that six of cups you're you were hoping that that it would be the one Wow, a lot of spiritual cards coming up here. I need a few more cards for this reading. Okay, I got an extra card, I believe, so I will read it. Okay, Capricorns. So I have the star. The star is right next to the Three of Swords. Yes, you are going to heal from this experience. Very deep spiritual healing. It's seeing your own reflection in that pool of water and remembering the bare essence of who you are. What you want, what you don't want. You know, it's really coming back around uh, to being you and knowing you here. Very deep healing. I have the hangman next to the star, and that tells me that you kind of spent time alone, hanging out, being enlightened, just like with the high priestess, being enlightened about really what happened here, okay? So this gives you the power and the strength to heal here with the hangman, very spiritual card again. Right next to the judgment card, very spiritual card again. This is the card for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But the Judgment card, there's your guardian angels and your spirit guides have been blowing this horn down on you. And what you're doing is you're awakening to a spiritual lesson that comes through all your healing. Now, the spiritual lesson may be how to recognize that fool's energy. That maybe the spiritual lesson is all about the fool's energy, you know, won't work for you for in the long term. Um, whatever it is, you are definitely waking up to it. And you're definitely becoming yourself again. And you are becoming really firm and really have made up your mind on what it is that you want from life. I have the justice card right below the star. And next to the Page of Cups, this is the card for Libra. So Libra might be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. But this is getting all balanced again. This is like self-justice, getting balanced um, after this Page of Cups, energy being around you, going through all this healing, getting those scales rebalanced. It's like it's self-justice through truth and through clarity, always with the Justice card. I have the Queen of Cups next to the Justice and under the Hanged Man. Well, the Queen of Cups, this is this is your energy, but this is this is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But more importantly, it is about the Queen here looking into that cup. And what she's trying to do is get answers to love questions. So you've had questions about what is it going to look like? What's it supposed to feel like? How am I going to know? Whatever it might be while you hang out by yourself and you're going through all this healing, you know? Like, why didn't I see this coming? It could be anything. But the answers are in that cup and that's where your mind has been on seeking those answers. Now, it's about the tower moment. This is under the judgment card. This is all part of your judgment this is all part of you um, becoming more aware of what love should feel like, what it should look like, okay? So this is the tower moment that you had with the previous person who just didn't want to take the step forward, like you did. It's the breakup. So then I have the King of Cups. Now look at this, okay? So the King of Cups, which is next to the Six of Cups, this is a real soulmate. This is a very, very strong soulmate. Um, what I'm feeling here is that this person in particular, um, because I have the Page of Cups here, I think they're, they're changing now. I think some time has gone by 
you've healed, you're ready to move forward, you're sticking by what you know that you need in your life, but I feel like they are changing. They're growing up from the Page of Cups to the King of Cups. So, you know, things, people change, they grow, and uh, a lot of times it comes from hitting bottom, and they might have hit bottom on this one, okay? Because they definitely have a full cup of love for you. Look at that cup, it's huge. Not handing it out is the problem, okay? Holding it close with the Page of Cups, holding it close with the King of Cups, and here you are wondering, what is going on? Don't they feel the love like I do? Well, they do, and they're starting to think more maturely. Um, this is still next to the Six of Cups, so this is still some, this, the person. This is the same person uh, that you've known before, that's re-entered your life. Um, they're coming back in. I got the Two of Cups here, right between the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So they might have treated this relationship like a friends with benefits before with this cup. This is another, with this card, this, this is another soulmate card. But the thing is, look at the moon. Look at all the enlightenment here. You're not the only one who's being enlightened. They are too. And I think they're discovering that, hey, there's real love here. These are full cups of love between the two of you. And this is a soulmate connection. This is like friends with love. And they're really super recognizing that they've been stingy. I think they're going to be coming forth. I think they're in February, they're realizing you're finishing up your healing, your judgment, and they are growing. They are maturing mentally to the point of thinking about the future. Uh, they re they're realizing their feelings for you here in this reading. I have the Four of Pentacles next to the Two of Cups and under the Tower. So they were really like stingy before. What, what they were doing is uh, when they would think about security and stability with those pentacles, look how tight they're hanging on to those pentacles. It's like, you can't get them from me. Uh-uh, no way. Well, um, they're starting to look at things a little differently. Um, what good is it doing them just hanging on to them like that? <laughs> Especially if they love you, okay? And I, I think they love you. I do. And they also think of you as a best friend. So this is under the tower. This is what caused the tower moment. They were afraid that, you know, how some people uh, are afraid that, you know, oh, you hear it all the time. Um, they took everything I had, you know. So they were afraid that it wouldn't work out and that they would lose their pentacles. Um, but they're changing, they're growing up, they're realizing their feelings for you, and then the extra card that came out is the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords, yeah, they're going to go forward with their sword up or out, and so are you. And it's all because of this tower moment, and, it's, and it is because of their pentacles. But I think they're going to want to move forward. I don't think this is over yet. I think the two of you are going to have some sort of reconciliation once again. Uh, and um, things are going to be expressed. I think you're going to realize that they, they are much more willing to think about a future with you than they were before. But they are on guard. They're not swinging the sword, but you're on guard too because you already know what you've been through. Wow. I'm going to take out an angel card to end this reading. Let's see what they have to say about this reading for you Capricorns for February. Got another card here. For February. Oh, we had one come out. We're going to take it. It's the helper of abundance. So I am going to read it to you. Get my glasses on here. Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart and a quick wit and endless patience. That person could be you. I think it's the other person. I think it's both of you, to tell you the truth. 
So Capricorns, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels and spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.